Hi guys, how are you doing? Right, um, I'm enjoying this, so I'll throw some more videos up. Okay, so I've been speaking to, um, well, I've been speaking to Z Outdoors. Hi mate. He said that they'd like to see the um, uh, the homemade fatwood. So I thought, what better opportunity? Take the dogs out. And uh, I'm going to do it as if I'm on a bit of a trip, a bit of a camping trip or an expo. Okay, so stay with me. Oh, quick shout out to Brumcraft as well. You rock, dude. Easy. Hold on. Very good. see him. Somebody's already just kind of dumped some logs along this path which is very nice of them. Bastards. Uh, nevertheless, there's a piece there which I think I'll use. Now, I'm not 100% sure, I'd say it's probably a little bit of fern, judging by some of the, the debris that's there. So we'll try it anyway. It's a little bit slimmer than you wrist this one, but I shall chop it up into small four inch or six inch pieces and then split it. Okay guys, coming along this track we've just found what you could use as a, a shelter, emergency shelter for the night. A natural hollow in a tree which is obviously been burnt out by various people as well I can imagine it would have weakened the structure slightly but looks quite healthy and I know myself it's been here for a fair few years but you can get you can get right inside it right inside it if need be and snuggle down I need that for cooling down the wax sticks. Okay, it's the quickest way of holding off the wax once you've took them out of the pan. Okay. Alright guys, right, this will do me. It's quite a nice spot. It's sheltered from the rain. It's quite dry. I've got a log to work on, so I'm good to go. However, I did find some slightly better wood on the way in as well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that one up. And I'm going to use my existing piece as a little baton. I've only got my SE3 with me today, so that should be uh, sufficient. Okay. So you grab your saw. This one's a Barco Laplander. Obviously, everybody knows about them, they're decent saws. I'm just going to clear off the edge to start with. <laughs> basically what I want to do now is just cut this down in lengths 
which is going to be suitable enough to fit your pan. Okay, so it all depends on the size of the mess tin or the pan that you're using at the time. Don't get cutting pieces this big if you're putting it into a pan which is this big. Common sense really. So I'm just going to go for small pieces. <laughs> Okay, remember the one trick that I showed you before in one of Brumcraft videos, okay, which is the plumber's vice. So, through the leg, clamp it with the leg, lean down with the other leg, so you're in a kneeling position, like this, locking the wood into position. Steady it with your opposite hand, and then saw. Another good tip, if you're finished with your tools, put them away, okay, it's the safest way to ensure yourself doesn't get hurt or anybody else that's in your group. What I might do is trim them again. Yep, perfect. Okay guys, I have decided to use gas today because obviously it's because of its convenience. So I've decided to use the MSR pocket rocket. For those of you that haven't seen them, these things they're a little bit dated now. You can get much smaller ones from places like Outkit. But I must admit the MSR pocket rocket has never really let us down. It's a brilliant little stove, it's lightweight, and fits into that little plastic hard tub as well. So it's crush proof. Brilliant bit of kit. Okay, so I've stamped down the ground a little bit, so I've got a nice level platform for my stove. Now, if you bring wax to a boiling point too quickly, it can ignite, and if it ignites, stand out of the way. If you kick the pan over, the wax will then spread everywhere and it will remain on fire. If you try and doubt it with water, it will just ignite even further and spread even further before it even extinguishes the flames. So, just be careful of that one. That is too high because I can hear it. I can hear it sizzling. I don't want to hear it sizzling. So I'll turn it down. And so it melts that a little bit slower. Take your time with it guys, don't rush. Okay guys, right, the wax is melted a little bit now. Um, all the wicks or anything that's holding your wick in place on your candles will just be left in the bottom of the pan, just floating around. Like I say, don't worry about it. So that's that's pretty much melted now. I've still got that one big piece which is which is still going, but I've got a puddle of wax down here, so I'm gonna start using it. So basically you just get your pieces of timbers. I've took these ones down quite thin. But nevertheless, you know, they'll they'll still lighten, they'll still burn for burn for a considerable amount of time uh, when they're waxed. Alright, so just simply place them in to your tin. Don't drop them in because the wax can splash and it will burn you. 
just try to place them in there and then what you'll find and what you'll notice is that all the, the wood starts to bubble and the reason it's bubbling is because you're drying out all the moisture the hot wax is drawing out all the, the moisture from the wood itself so therefore it's releasing lots of air bubbles but that's not a bad thing because what's happening at the same time is that it's starting to draw all the wax into the wood so okay if you need to be getting on home there's some more water okay so there was the wax sticks as you can see I've just doused them in water and Bone dry again now. The water just gets thrown off because of the wax. Okay, should we try one? Yeah. Normally you try and let these harden overnight. It normally works better that way. But we'll try it out just for the camera because if you was going to use this, you know, with all your old candles that you left over with during a a week out in the forest you know then it gives you a good opportunity really to to see if it works straight out the bag so to speak okay so I'm using a light my fire uh, ferris here rod this time these things are absolutely excellent they really are excellent Here we go. Take one here. Any smaller ones from that. And as you can see, still got a little bit of water in it, which is what all the spitting's about. But it works quite well. Quite wind, wind resistant. Okay guys. Okay guys, uh, that's me done. That's the homemade fat wood or wax wood, whichever way you want to call it. But it works the same as fat wood. Um, I find it useful, it's something that you can do quickly in camp. If you don't want to use your mess tin, no doubt out and about because the amount of bit rubbish that people throw around, you could find some sort of metal tray to be able to do it on or an old uh, container from you know a Chinese restaurant or something like that. Okay, so needless to say, it's easy to do, and you know, if you know that your weather on your expedition is going to be bad weather, you're going to have lots of rain, it's probably worth doing. You know, it's probably worth thinking about just knocking up, you know, a small handful of them and keeping them on you, keeping them in your pocket or in your burgans, because at the end of the day, you know, fire is one of the, the main important parts of survival, as well as shelter, food, and water. Okay, so. Hope you've enjoyed it, hope you learned something from it. Um, get out there and enjoy yourself guys. See you later. Okay, walk on. <laughs>